This is the Flex Fly, and this is the world's first commercially uh, available uh, foldable smartphone. And so the whole idea behind it was that we're going to give you a tablet size, and then when you want to, we're going to bring it down to uh, cell phone size. You can put it in your pocket and go on your way. This is quite impressive because big companies like Samsung has been working on this for years. How long have you been working on this? Oh, we've been working on it many years as well. This kind of technology is uh, pretty difficult, pretty uh, high tech. And what's the tech achievement? Is it the flexible screen or is, it, is there something more? It's really the, the display being able to be flexible and dynamically flexible. It's one thing to curve it and have it uh, just set in place, but to be able to flex it 200,000 times, that's what's uh, the real accomplishment here. How much is it going to cost? Right now we have a developer's model in the U.S. that's uh, $1,319 uh, that you can buy off of the Royal website, but uh, that's, that's not for uh, consumers. As for developer, as for the consumer price, when it does come out, I don't know that at this point. And it's running Android, right? That's correct. Can you tell us about the specs a bit more, like what, what, what is the chip and the, the memory and everything? We have the latest of the, uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragons, and we have the, the memories, uh, we have a 128 gig and a 256 gig. Let's look back a bit and think about the moment when you thought, okay, maybe we're onto something. Uh, did you have some difficulties at some point? Did you think, okay, maybe it's not going to work? Our company's founders spent many, many years uh, developing the technology, and they were able to make one in the lab, but that's just the first step. Once you make one in the lab, the big, uh, the big effort then is being able to mass produce it with an acceptable yield. And so that is where the real effort came in, and the many years and the many engineers is how do you mass produce something like this? And so, did they ever doubt? I don't know that they ever doubted. They, they were pretty uh, confident in what they're doing, but I am sure that there, I, I do know that there were some setbacks that you had to overcome. And do you think it's a novelty and other manufacturers are going to do the same? Or do you plan to partner with other companies maybe to provide your technology? Uh, we will do both. We're going to be creating our own products and we're going to be partnering with others. But as far as whether it's a novelty or not, This is a fundamental shift in how we think about electronics design. And this is the first year that we're coming out with it. This is just the start of where the industry is going to go. And, and honestly, I don't know where it's going to go. We are going to have so many people out there that are going to look at this and say, hey, wait a minute, this is what I can do. And, and I cannot wait to see what we as a community come up with, with what we can do with flexible technology.